Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 on Warner's Path. First things first, we're going to play difficulty to make things very well, to keep things interesting. Uh, and last time we did mission... We did, wait, did we do two missions last time? I think we might have done two missions last time. Oh, we did, because the second was Drunus Gas, which took about... That took all of about five seconds. So, today, what we are doing... Uh, you may notice that bottom slot is empty. Do not fear. I did save the Super Nelson as a player design, but today... It was brought to my attention that we have not actually used the Twin Hole Destroyer for anything. And since Auto Reload System and AGS guns put together can make pretty much any ship viable in this game, not to mention the right systems and whatnot, namely a Nignitech Sita and stuff like that, uh, given that case, I, I think we can make a good little destroyer here. Even though it's... Uh, you know, still a destroyer. I think we can make an, an end-game capable destroyer here. Um, now, the interesting thing is going to be, of course, this bridge, which is down. It doesn't leave a lot of, a lot of room for an X bridge, which, which kind of sucks. Let's see. Beta, that's 60. That's one, one. That's definitely our best one, and this is the one with the spell. Ball. Let's stick that on there, though. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. It's but, um, let's see. So, our primary weapons are, of course, going to be 280mm AGS with three barrels. But, as we've seen, we don't really need... I mean, we really don't need that many of these things. We just we just don't, you know? So, one, two... Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's uh, raise these guys up by two. Like so. Copy, drop, and move forward. Like this. There we go. So now we have six forward, and if we can get three facing backwards, that'll be good enough for me. So let's spin them around, and there we go. That's that's plenty enough for me. I mean, we have a our normal destroyer only has three facing forward and three facing backward, and that thing does fine. So I want to save as much weight as I can. I want to have some armor on here. Like let's have 14 18 centimeters east. east. Engines. We're gonna want. Um, well, a fusion reactor has the best. Fusion Reactor 4 has the best weight to ratio, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what is it, power to weight ratio, like, in the game, so that's, that's a no-brainer. We want to grab some steam turbines, like so. I don't think, no, I can't go double wide on these. So, there we go, I mean, we're doing pretty good on weight here, I wonder if we could, ooh, that's, uh, that's, uh, 900 tons there is what that is, hmm. Hmm, well, you know what, we're going to have a lot of systems on here, so I think our speed will be fine after we have all of the systems on. Uh, as with any ship we design nowadays, we're going to have chaff. Always got to have chaff, that's like ne uh, necessity, basically. I guess we'll just stick the chaff right there, because why not? Uh, in addition to chaff, we probably will want some Azrocks right underneath that. Like there, and there, and there, and that's plenty of Azrocks. What else? What else do we usually have on here? I don't even know. I know that if we come down to this slot, we're going to want to put on the CIWS, which I will set just like one pair of for now as a placeholder for that slot. Um, we don't really need high angle guns because we're going to have. Uh, the AGS to deal with shore-based installation. Oh wait, we can't do high angle anyways because yeah. Uh, so what can we do then? We could do. We need some. We should probably get some rams. Let's get some rams. Uh, if can can put rams on this thing, I can. These are very heavy though, so let's see. One, two. Okay, rams are rams are very heavy. Um. What else? We could, uh, in this slot here, I suppose we could go with some torpedoes. Let's see. We've got high explosive guided torpedo with four shots. That might be fun to try, actually. That might be really fun to try. Hmm. Hmm. Mine laying torpedoes. Okay, hold on. Contact mine laying. Contact mine laying magnetic line, mine laying torpedo. Bursts at the target and releases contact or magnetic mine. Some types can also be fired from a submarine. 
So why are... Oh, okay. So these are contact, and the other ones are magnetic. Well, I'd rather have magnetic. I want to try these just because I've never tried them before, and I don't know what they're going to do. So we'll put those on there. Um, just for the sake of testing them, I suppose. What else can I... What else do I usually do? I have anti-sub, anti-air, anti-ship. Uh, what else? I don't know. Mines? I guess we could we could find something fun in mines. High explosive mines might be cool. Decoy launcher, moored mines, guided mines, magnetic contact. I mean, heck, let's just toss on some high explosive mines, shall we? Oh, they can go on the back. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Oh, God, the VP. Okay. Maybe I don't want them on the back. Um, hmm. Hmm. Interesting conundrum. Uh, uh, can these go... I bet these could go there if those go there. Yep. Then these can go in front of those. Then maybe... Aha! This will save our VP here. There we go. Didn't help the weight that much, to be honest. Um, systems. We better get these on here before we get into... Get too heavy. We're gonna want high gravity on this thing for sure. That's necessary. We're gonna want Ceta for the extra endurance. We're gonna want Prop 2 for the speed. We're gonna want Kappa to fix Prop 2. <laughs> We're gonna want Auto Reload System Gamma. Uh, Auto Reload System Gamma so that we can break the game. We're gonna want the... Let's see, none of these are... Okay, yeah, no, no, and that, you know what, that might be cool to try, Enigma Tech, uh, Ada, there, hmm, thinking about it, let's see, ooh, ECM, which is the one that, uh, lock on jamming, that's the one we want, we want ECM, we want some... You know what, let's try it. Let's let's go ahead and try to use Enigma Tech Ada and just see how it works, you know? Uh, in addition to that, we can also throw on an Aegis system. Oh, auto countermeasures. That's absolutely necessary. I can't believe I didn't think of that one sooner. I just saw it above Aegis and I was like, I need that. Uh, look at our weight. Crap. Crap. Okay. Oh, hold on. No, that's not what I wanted. What I want to do... Put them in the center line, right, and then we'll move these guys out. Like this. So we'll raise them. We'll squeeze these guys in here. Aha! Aha! Look at that. Now we still have some high explosive mines. We have one extra gun facing backwards than we did before. And um, this gives me, let's see, our, our systems are all set, our armor is all set. If I reduce that, it's not going to, yeah, that's not going to help me a significant amount. I would love to get more than one pair of machine guns on here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're looking spiffy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. These don't change our VP, so we can have as many of these things as we want. Well, not exactly, but almost. Ooh, 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 I should have some searchlights on here, just in case. Just in case, right? Let's see, there. And can I only have... How many can I have on a destroyer? Oh, I guess more than two. Okay, cool. Okay, our weapons are good to go. I like that layout, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Um... Engines, uh, yep, structures, yep, systems are good, armor's good. All right, there is our twin hull destroyer. Ready to rock and roll for this next mission. Uh, 650, start an uprising against the Empire. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, also we have a Enigma Tech Ada, so let's see how that goes. Basically, I'm going to... Scroll down to the repair kit and sit on that. Uh, sit with our our that bleh. sit with that highlighted. Of course, that would, I would literally just looked at my phone, and I thought the volume was off, but of course it wasn't. So if we just scroll down like here, then the guns should fire themselves. Let's see. Does the game play itself? Let's find out. Woohoo! Yes, it does. Cool. That's that's actually awesome. Light 
Now, the real test would be, does this work for, like, big cannons that aren't usually... That aren't typically, um... Autofire. That, that's the real test here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We've got, we've got, we've got torpedoes going out. Gotta be careful of that. They're laying mines, I think, right? That's what, that's what we got. Mine laying torpedoes. See, this is, this is like, this is cool, but I feel like I could really be tearing these guys apart if I would just use the AGS myself and pick a target. Or not, because AGS is just gonna be difficult. On you. Ow, oh god, yeah, okay, well there was a high explosive mine in there somewhere. Apparently uh, Ada laid another one down somewhere too. Because we were on two just a second ago and now we're down to one. So another one must have been laid down somewhere. You know what, I'm just gonna sit on the chaff, because I've noticed that it doesn't auto-fire chaff. That's something I gotta do myself. So I'm gonna sit on chaff. I'll be on chaff duty, and I'll let the, uh, I'll let the game handle the rest here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I think we're good. I mean, Ada's cool, but I just don't, I don't think, uh... I don't think, uh... <laughs> I don't think I prefer it. Also, did I put auto countermeasures as a system on this thing when I already had Ada? I might have totally forgot about that. Whoops. Hey, well, chaff. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I, I like enjoying. I, I enjoy destroying ships anyway, so that's not a that's not a huge loss, I suppose. I mean, if people are dying, but you know, meh, details. Maybe the chaff is auto firing. I don't know. I saw a cluster missile from the enemy just a minute ago there. Um, that seemed to go off somewhere else. So maybe maybe that is working. I don't know. We're gonna. Oh. No, it's it's not working. Nope. If it were if it were working, it would have auto fired some chaff there, but I guess not. Uh, we're gonna go for a repair because I think this is a good time. We are not right next to any of the enemies or anything. Okay, now let's see if the Azrocs will auto fire like I want them to. Oh, Jeff! Woo, that was close. Uh, Azeroks? Oh, well, we're out of Azeroks, so I guess they were auto-firing, as intended. But now we're out of them. If I could kill some aircraft, that would be cool. I could maybe get an air, uh, uh, ammo crate. Oh gosh, I look out and I don't even see... Okay, there's one all the way over there. If one of you guys could just... Yeah, there we go. Drop one on my head real quick. That'd be cool. There we go. Chaff. Go, my beautiful Azeroks. Do your work. Chaff. I hit Chaff. Come on now. Okay. Oh, things are getting crazy over here. Oh, things be getting crazy over here. I'm out of Azerox again. I mean, it's working, though. We're, we, you saw I put it back on hard difficulty. And we are... Uh, we're, we're doing it, man getting through this. Slowly but surely. Oh boy. They, they aren't listening yet. This is a really bad idea, but I'm gonna try and restock my my 
high explosive mines. Which means I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna end up killing myself here. I think. Probably. I don't know, did the mine already go off? I know it laid one, did it already go off though? That's that's the question. Okay, let's turn our stern towards these guys. There goes the mine. Oh baby. Yeah, that went off. It hit me too. If yeah, okay, I gotta repair right now, because if I don't, we're gonna get a fire in the ammo depot and that's gonna hurt. Beginning repairs. So Enigma Tech Ada. It's cool, but I'm running out of ammo for like everything, so it, when I need stuff, I don't I don't have ammo anymore. <laughs> Slight problem. I guess, uh, well, in theory, it should Ada should work with anything that's not even supposed to be auto fire, like the Azrox, for example, um, or probably like these mines. I don't expect that these mines are supposed to be uh, auto fire, nor the mine lane torpedoes. So. I guess that means it does work for things that are not supposed to be out of fire, but there's probably specific cases where it doesn't, like specific weapons where that doesn't happen, but I don't know for sure. Hey, we did it. Now if we can just clean up the mission without sinking, we'll be in good shape. Huh. I tried to double tap. Uh, I tried to double tap a direction there, so I wouldn't run into the Wyoming, and then I ran into the Wyoming anyways. Okay, let's restock the Azrox. Let's prepare to restock the uh, something or other. Oh, the Rams are out. That's that's important. I gotta fix the Rams quickly. Yeah, I have the Rams selected. I gotta find. I gotta find ammo for those. Like now. Eh. Enemy ship sunk. Oh, hello. Oh, is that a full ammo crate? Oh my God! What a blessing. Chaff. Okay, let's get over here and deal with this stupid airfield. Finally. Should have done that a while ago, I guess. But. Eh. Chaff. There's a couple airfields, aren't there? I think there are. Oh, it's so cool to see all of these things going off at once like this. I would love to see what Ada does on the Twin Hole Battleship. Maybe we'll try that in another episode. Oh yes, I should mention as well, the, the response to the question I posed last time, overwhelmingly the response was to go with the streaming method of Warship Gunner 2 content from here on, well, not from here on out, but after after the Warner's Path playthrough, to continue Warship Gunner 2 content, uh, the overwhelming majority vote was uh, was the streaming method instead of the special episodes in air quotes um, method. So we'll be doing that then. We'll try to shoot for, well. I'm not promising anything, but I'm going to try to shoot for weekly live streams on Sunday over the next couple of weeks um, of Worship Gunner 2. But of course, there are other games that I would like to stream. Now, as far as I understand it, I cannot switch consoles or games. Well, I can't switch consoles midstream, I don't think. If we're on the... If we're on basically anything other than the Xboxes, like if we're on the PS2 or the Wii, I don't think I can switch games midstream either. Um, switching games on the PS2 requires resetting the PS2, which may cut the signal, which may cut the stream. So that could be a problem. Um, and if I'm streaming something from the PS2 and I try to change the input to the Xbox, for example, or vice versa. If I try to change the input midstream, it might cause something weird to happen, or it might cut the stream. I don't know. These are these are things that require some testing. Ooh, Warner part. Look at this. Good point. Good point.
It's a pretty, a pretty intense uh, storyline with Werner here. It's definitely, well, yeah, I would say it's the most serious storyline that we've encountered. Well, I should say that out of the three, uh, no, that we've encountered. Uh, no, 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 we're good there. May go just a teensy tiny bit uh, over time, but actually we're already over time. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Everything's fine. Time for six six day. Ah, aha. I believe I know one of the commenters who's uh, who's uh, to whom this is their favorite mission. So, mm-hmm. We'll be going. We'll be going hard on this one. We're not going to be taking no soft little, soft little twin hole destroyer on this guy. This this one requires a serious effort. This is one of the few bosses that you can't just cheese. Uh, well, you can't cheese him as easily, even on EL2, when you have good stuff. You can still kind of cheese him, but it's 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 you know he can cheese you back basically. <laughs> <laughs> so he can base let's put it this way he can cheese you a lot harder than you can cheese him so anyways with that that'll do it for this episode of worship winner 2 on warner's path thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed and as always i hope to see you all in the next one